drawing in inverted colours again. But it's really late at night, not that late, but I'm sort of using this as ASMR for all those ASMR fans, in case you, you know, you want, you want to listen to that. I don't know how to go about this. I don't know what pose I should do. I'm, like, I haven't thought about any of this at all. But I'm just thinking of something. the hat in there. I'll just call these in. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> nice. The, um, I'll give some animation tips. Um, well, while I'm drawing, so it gives us something to talk about. In the industry, it is said this is for all those people that want to be animators. If you enjoy animating a certain thing, then you won't be allowed to do that in your job. Not as like a bad thing. It's just, in animation people will ask you for anything, absolutely anything, which is a problem because you, that anything could be stuff you don't like drawing. Say, say I, I hate drawing, I don't know, um, cats or something, I would have to draw, I wouldn't have to, but like if the project involved a cat in any way, and I had to animate 10,000 frames of a cat or something. I'm gonna be sat drawing something I don't like for a good while. So the problem with animation and all that is that you have to, you have to have the willpower to do it and the patience, the willpower and the patience. If you don't have them, then there's not really any point. You you won't you won't get that far. Not not in a not in like a mean way, but not as like a professional job kind of thing. If you do like animating and you don't want to get into anything like that, just have fun with it. Have fun. I got into it because. I saw other people doing it, and I thought, I really want to do that. And I thought, well, I didn't think, but I found out that I had the patience to sit and make something for six months. And then I finished it, you know? Oof. I made it, and I thought, yeah, I could, I could do something with this, you know? You don't exactly need a, um, you, 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 some people are, like, artistically gifted. Like, some people come out of the womb being able to draw a fucking, like, a, a tower or something. But, um, if you want to get into that, but you're not that good at drawing, Draw every day. Doodle something every day. It 
can be anything. It could be that cat that I so hate. Loads. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I like cats. It could be, um... It could be your character, like, like my little dude here. You know, the one who wears Sans clothes. <laughs> it can be anything. Whatever you want. As long as you doodle once a day, it can take 30 seconds, it can take four hours, anything, anything's good enough, you'll find that over the months you would have gotten so much better by just doodling alone. You do want to practice like anatomy and stuff because if you don't then, well it, it depends really, it depends on what you know you want to draw. And again, if you are making it into a career, then you do want to learn, like, basic anatomy and all that. Or else, it's hard to get anywhere. I've learned that. <laughs> but, yeah. All my animator friends out there, and all the people aspiring to be animators, and all the people that want to learn how to draw. Good luck. You'll do amazing. You will. You will be amazing. Because you are amazing. How's this look? Does it look, look okay? Ooh, it's one of those things where you get rid of the thingy. It looks awful. It's not that bad. It's just this bit here. It looks a bit off. Oh, let me change my eraser. You want to find a good, um, like, software to use as well. For beginners, I do suggest, like, Ibis and stuff. Maybe not Ibis straight away, but this. How, what made me get into Ibis was I always drew on flip a clip and I thought, I need something to actually, oh, well, that looks weird. I need something to actually draw on, like a proper drawing software thing. And um, I found this and saw loads of like really good art. I thought, oh my god, this is what all the cool people use. I'll try use this. And then ever since I've been using it. Ooh, that looks really weird. Mm. It looks a bit weird. How's this? Mm. Oh, you know what? It's fine. I shouldn't put that much effort into this. No one will watch it. And if people do, then I hope you like my TED Talk. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's hard. But if you try loads, you, you will get places. You will. I know that. The worst part about drawing inverted is figuring out the right colour for everything. I go to this colour and I'll make it lighter. No, it just looks off, you know. Everything about inverted looks so off. Ooh. I don't like getting the skin colour wrong as well because, I don't know, controversy and all that, you know. It's not my fault. I'm just... People who, people who complain about things, do this yourself. Give it a go. <laughs> See how well you do. There you go, that's, that's more like it. That'll have to do. Last one looked wonky, this one will look wonky too. And then we gotta get the brown. Uh, it just looks so weird and it feels like no matter how, like no matter how hard you try, you just can't get the right colour. There you go. I don't think it's possible to have certain colours on inverted. 
I actually don't think it's possible. Oh well, I'll have to do. Do that, and do that. And now, the difference I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to attempt to shade it. I'll give you a little shading lesson here. So what I do is I have a whole new layer and I clip it to the colour layer underneath. The, um, the line art layer is a completely different layer on top of the other two. So to do my shading, I have, a, I have this paint brush brush. Yeah, yeah, paint brush brush. So it's great. <laughs> Uh, I grab the colour that I want, I magic on the area I'm, I am um, shading, well all the cool, all the colours really, so I would do the hands as well. And then it's hard to show how I would do it on here because I actually don't know how I would do it on here. Because it's inverted and inverted sucks, but it's fun. And I'd go like this. I would shade all the shaded bits, yeah. And I'd make it like really prominent like this, so you can see that there's shading there. And then I'd add the lighter parts. Gotta be the skin colour again. I'd shade the lighter parts. And you may think, ooh, that's weird, this looks weird, this whole thing is weird. And I'll be like, no, no it's not, because if you use the same colour again to go over your shadows and lighting that you've just done, it'll blend it in a way. It'll make it look sort of painted as well, which is what I really like about it. And just like that doesn't look as bad. It looks bad on here because, you yeah, know, again, inverted. <laughs> but overall, not that bad. Considering the circumstances. And then, that's the face shaded really poorly. I might make some shorts based on how to shade like this if anyone did want that. Possibly. Uh, the thing with shorts is that it just feels so much easier to make. I'm not a fan of making them. I wish I could make proper content, but you know, I don't know. Sometimes it takes too long, and sometimes I can't be bothered with how like, much recognition it gets. You shouldn't really be drawing for recognition, and that's what I don't do that. But I, like, never have the patience or anything to actually sit there and make stuff for YouTube. I'll only ever make stuff that I want to make. You know? And then I end up not posting anything. I like using YouTube to post things that I have created for people to see. But, um, then, then you lose subscribers, and I don't want to lose subscribers because I am in a war right now. I am in a war against Sweet Lord, and I want to win this war. So, <laughs> gotta keep them subscribers up. You beautiful of subscribers. I hope you, you know, I hope you stay. Not because I'm selfish or anything, but... I will, I will create stuff for you some days. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's not all the time. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Not bad. Not good either. It's did something. <laughs> Clothes are quite easy to shade. And just go around them. I don't like doing folds, so I just don't, you know. I don't do the fold. So you do that, and you go really light, and then you shade in the middle, 
with all the like the main bits and then you do the little trick that I taught you earlier yes. and it creates a glossy effect I'm gonna have to learn how to do different textures and stuff but for now this yeah this will do I don't overdo it this much normally but I just want to get this over with I'm tired <laughs> it's late gotta be up early but yeah it looks so much nicer just like that do the same with the legs I'm just rushing it now because I want to and there you go how beautiful is that and it only took me 16 minutes we'll have a little little background little oh yeah Oh yeah, look at that. Looking snazzy. And then we will we will do the thing that I don't wanna do and inverse it. Boop. Yeah <laughs> it looks so weird. I love how weird it looks. The jacket doesn't look so bad. But I don't like how it like you know you know, changes the rays. But it's not so bad. Fine. And now, that. Oh, shoot, that's a clear layer. I don't actually remember how to invert it. It was this one, wasn't it? Right? Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. Nightmare fuel. There you go. That's interesting. Now, now I look like a smurf. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you managed to get this far, you, you should probably, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, you know, subscribe. I'm joking. You don't have to. The people watching this will be subscribers anyway. But yes, thank you for watching. And thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.